So here we are today, late over. I'm going to um, see this dog goes with Ruse. I mean, she's been exposed to Ruse before. But as she's gotten older and more confident, I've got no doubt she's going to give me grief. She's getting super keen and just wants to follow everything she can smell. So, yes, we'll see how she goes. Obviously got on the lead at the moment. Just walking in some local paddocks behind my place. Um, yeah, she's hearing someone whistle there. But, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. All right. I think we've got some roos up in front of us here somewhere. Just, uh, keep on the lead now and we'll just see what she does. Right. She's seen him. She's keen. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, well, there we go. Should be off. Anyway, just to observe what she's doing. So here they are there. Just out there, you can see. Alright, we're gonna let off the lead here. And just see how she goes. Because I know there'll be roos up here somewhere. So let's see what happens. So she can smell 100% ruse. That's why she's staying so close. Because she's been in trouble before. So she's staying right by my leg. And there's a fine line in doing stuff like that. Because you can stop them from uh, trusting their noses when it comes to pigs. So it's a fine line with what I'm doing. But you have to do something. So it's worked for all my other dogs. But... It's a different type of dog um, and how she responds. Uh, we'll see. She's absolutely hanging to go out in that scrub. Let's see what all the smells are. Definitely no pigs around at the moment, I can tell you that. But I know there's a heap of ruse. She won't be in through because she knows I'm here. But she's eager as hell. Yeah, but. <laughs> I'm in a catch 22 situation here. I need her to trust her nose. I need to go out and explore. But I can't have her chasing stuff. Kangaroos, wallabies, whatever. Just can't happen. Now we got Rouge right up there. You can't tell from that. I already know she spotted them. But, um, we'll do a bit closer and we'll see what she does. Rouge right in front of me here somewhere. One one up there. Let's just see what she does. Like I said, she has been in trouble a couple of times. See if she does when she comes across the scent here. She will smell them. Yeah, alright, here we go. There's one right here. Yeah. Now viewers, please, I'm not going to let this dog chase these kangaroos, if I can help it. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. Not as many as it normally is. Must have been people out here, I reckon. Here we go. Oh, 
or a Mankid Sunset. Yeah, no, not much success tonight. Probably hitting into all the residential blocks there. Getting the green grass. Anyway, they are out there. Zoom in somewhere. There you go. She wants to go. Come on, go on. I might just let her go, just see what she does. Bruce hopping there. Well, she's going alright, but I don't know how she'd go if one sprung out in front of me. Getting some open paddock here. Got the wind to our backs. So, the roos will pick us up before we pick them up. As you can see, she looks, she's got a nose to the ground. Associating nose and sight at the moment. So she's trying to sniff and then associate that smell with any movement. Mobs over here. I'm going to walk towards it and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Look at a big mob here. There you go. Come on. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let her go. Let's see. Just for the camera work. While we're holding your phone, I should be getting a GoPro. Well, I have got a GoPro, but I just need to pop a bracket from my head. I'm coming right up on this mob now. Here we go. Oh, she knows. She doesn't want to get in trouble. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So. I don't know. Could be a good thing. She's definitely not root proof. I'm not going to take this as a confidence builder for me, that's for sure. But I reckon she will go, given the right, given the right conditions. There she goes, see what I mean? Oi! Yeah! Come on! See? So, oh, not too bad. But I reckon if I didn't call her then, good girl, good girl, she's just keen, super keen, I should get onto these pigs as much as possible, it was going to be a big year for her, smash the numbers, Hopefully you can see them. They're probably about 100 metres in front of me. She's looking. Oh, she just hangs around me. See? She has got in trouble. There you go. She's sitting. Good girl. I've got a appraiser for that. Good girl. But as I said before, I don't know. She's not actually going out there because she knows she's going to get in trouble. So I'm hopefully this doesn't affect her with the pigs. That's why I've got to smash the numbers as soon as I can. As soon as I get a bit of a cold break or cooler break up north where I go, I'll be running her up there. I think as many as I can. Get her going. She won't go. Good girl. Good girl. 
anyway, that might be enough for now. Probably bored you all shitless, but anyway, as I said, it's all part of it, what's and all, good and bad, boring, not boring. So, like I said, guys, um, I've had luggers all my life, have dabbled in balers. Um, this stock proofing thing or roof proofing thing that I'm doing, um, I think it might be a bit easier with the lug and breed dogs, a bit harder headed, a bit harder natured. Um, this little Kelpie Cross thing, Kelpie Cross whip it a bit softer. Um, so I've got to be careful how hard I am. Um, like I said, it'll be a learning curve for me and for her. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. Anyway, have a good weekend. Speak to you soon. See ya.